guys, welcome to another episode of Deshaun R Show. I just got, well, actually, I looked at Log Horizon like a few hours ago while we were at work. So we got home from work, tired as hell. Oh, God. And, um, apparently I got off of work an hour early due to, um, the daylight saving time, whatever we call the shit. And I'm, I'm so damn happy. But anyway, um, Log Horizon. You know, at first, my my friend John Jonathan from John Gray Show, he had his channel in the description below. But anyway, he said that Log Horizon was the pinnacle of every anime he looked at, meaning it's the best thing he ever seen within the first five episodes of Log Horizon, which was truly an amazing anime. It actually stood out, it presented something very um, different. However, it kind of fell off when we were in the castle. The 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 damn anti climatic goblet um scene and not to miss it, the whole thing we all were asking we were asking trying to make food and uh now they been the festival around the town set up stop. It just seemed like they kinda of live with everyday life and make this a normal anime, but when they first presented this anime it was like an action heavy anime. And it was like very action heavy. You know, a lot of people expect to see the same as that thing. They want to see an action heavy anime to already do it. They, you know, a lot of people ask wars. And, you know, I understand story progression. I understand plot building. I understand character build up. You know, I'm a writer myself. I actually build up character. Sometimes I take a break from all the action, let the character chill. Hang out with each other, have fun, show the character, become a friend, get close to each other. I understand that. But Log Horizon don't know when to actually make that stop. Some people want to see Ash. I understand the episode ended with a war might break out, like a civil war between the um, land folks and the adventurers. We've seen that going to happen, but this whole episode was practically about shock. We find out Henry Gatta, Henry Gatta, ah, Henry Gatta love, um, Cyril. We find out that, um, you know, you know that, uh, Sugu and Mire may be a thing. With Mari, Siri, Siri, well, Sugo, wait, what's her name, wait, 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 her name is, Miss, Sugo, wait, wait, her name is, her name is Sugu now. Sugu and, um, uh, Mari may be an idol. We find out, we knew that Silver Rock right, get wet off of the kitty Natalia. We, we knew that already. We, we just, you know what I'm saying, just seeing like relationship build up, but yet, yeah, it's just too much of it. I want to get back into an ass. I want to see a art. I want to see why John said this was a pinnacle again. Because that is what it missing. I mean, when it first started off, it was so amazing. The fights, the strategies, how they work as a team. You know what I'm saying? It was so amazing, but now it just seems like it's just... they just showing us a regular anime, and they just living their everyday lives. And that ain't what Log Horizon was about. And I feel like it's falling off. John was right. I'm, I'm, I'm like right about it, too. They kind of falling off. But, I don't know. Tell you guys, I ain't need really, really review this episode due to the fact that this wasn't really shit to talk about. Really, it wasn't. I just... We know the tangent is explaining how I feel about this show. You feel me? But anyway, tell you guys, stay in the comment section below. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Out of here, peace.